Hi, and welcome again today with our tutorial. Uh, as we mentioned before, we are talking about ASP.NET Core MVC with Entity Framework. So in this part today, we will try to create our uh, repository. Uh, let's move to our uh, Visual Studio. So last time we add our DB context, and today we'll add uh, the repositories. So uh, first is let's create new class. This class will call it student. Each table should have a repository. So for a student, we'll have repository and for courses, for enrollments, for gender, for all of them. So this repository will be inherited from I student from that signature we we already add. Okay. After that implemented. So this for methods here we already uh, this 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 uh, signatures already written where in my student interface okay so what we what will this what will happen here let's say here the, the, uh, the executor of this code will be in our uh, repository this will be the uh, that access layer so before doing anything i want uh, add uh, i want to declare uh, my DB context, DB underscore context. Okay, uh, let's call it DB. After that, CTOR. I'm gonna add my constructor. Let's copy same this one here. One more time, but here underscore DB equal underscore DB context here. So Let's move to uh, first method. What will happen here? It will uh, get all the table of a student. So how we'll do that one? Uh, let's do this one like this. DB dot student. That's it. We'll get all the students from the database. We'll put it in my uh, in a in a list here. Will be. Okay, second one how to add uh, add will be db dot my table student dot add what will add will add my data came from my view after that db dot save change that's it very easy uh uh, third one, how to get student. I give ID, I need this student only. So we'll return to me data from a student type here. So we'll be, let's, uh, first of all, we declare, let's say, student. Let's say, db entity. Okay. Entity equal db dot student. We'll be here that fine to find it first. How here? ID. After that, return this value, what we found. So last one, it will be uh, remove. What, how we will remove it? First of all, we should find it in our database by this ID. After that, you say db dot, sorry, dot student dot remove. Remove who? This entity, what we found, or what we need to delete. That's it. So, uh, uh, for all the other repository, will be the same. This one. So now we'll add new repository for. Let's add I gender. Uh, sorry, uh, gender repository repository okay I'll try to copy to save time from this one okay this the same constructor but just change name sorry change my constructor name okay and here this one from I gender
implement my code that's it same here we'll say db dot but now will be gender and how to add gender same as we add in the first one will be db dot gender dot add underscore gender db dot save i think we forgot to save it here after in the student here after you finish you need to save it okay back here uh, let's say here return uh, db dot okay let's see here here be gender dot find who id remove will be uh, gender db entity equal db dot gender dot find id sorry db dot gender dot remove db that's it so the rest of other uh, let's say the rest all they will be same so i will resu uh, resume it now finish them and we'll back to you again so now <coughs> as we see we finish the fourth of this uh, tables we we'll add course repository enrollment repository gender repository and student repository and we already have services if we see here all of them same nothing different uh, but uh, in the future after we add our views maybe we'll we'll do some changes on this one but we'll see step by step and now after we finish everything's here uh, what we need to do uh, let's build our application after that uh, we need to add our uh, dependency injection as I mentioned in the first video I said in uh, ASP MVC 5 and the previous version uh, dependency injection was uh, should add third party to do these things but now one of the features of the, this uh, features of this uh, 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 .NET Core it's built in how to add this uh, injection here dependency injection so I go to startup I go to after that to uh, my uh, configuration services under add MVC service here I write again service dot add a transient okay here in this one what I need to write I need to write my interfaces with let's say first one I student okay uh, okay I just need included after that after student I need to add my repository with the student repository go back like this that's it finish the previous version I need to go to uh, add my uh, a nugget I need to add if you remember I have previous video about it we should add ninjet uh, third party after that we added in our uh, classes in the kernel classes as, as they mentioned before but now it's it's very uh, easy and simple for you let's add the other classes uh, I think I courses okay uh, courses repository too Again, service that add transient. Uh, which one? I enrollment. Enrollment. Uh, enrollment repository. Last one will be add. Uh, for which one will be uh, course student? B gender, I think. I gender. Gender repository. 
that's it now we are ready to the next step uh, to add our controllers and generate our views uh, let's go briefly uh, talk about it what we have done so we add our um, models here after we add the models we add our services all our interfaces our, our signatures after that we add our uh, connection string and we add our db context our connection string as we mentioned it will be in the app setting and the same time will be to add it as a pipeline and service here okay uh, last things we add our repositories uh, and that's it for today uh, next video we'll try to add first controller will be for student controller and we'll try uh, view add a view for it or let's try start from small one maybe we add gender and courses because this will be controller because a student table need this one to show the data so see you next video